kids, it's just Felina here. Today we're going to talk about others. And we're going to start this discussion off with our marshmallows that we went to go grab and our ice. So, most of us really love marshmallows, especially when they're over roasted over the open fire at like our camping trips or over the fireplace in your house. And marshmallow, when we think about it, is what? Sweet. Sweet, it's kind of fluffy. And if I was to take a bite of this marshmallow, I would taste the sweetness of the marshmallow. It's really light, it's yummy. I really like the marshmallow. So when we first take a bite of the marshmallow, it's very sweet. But if I was then to take a piece of ice, and I'm gonna take this piece of ice, I'm gonna put it in my mouth, and I'm gonna let it sit on my tongue for a little bit. It's cold. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Enough ice. If I was to take that piece of ice and then take another piece of this marshmallow, I don't taste anything anymore. I feel that it's fluffy. I know it should be sweet, but I can't taste it anymore. And the reason why is because the ice numbed my tongue. It numbed my taste buds, so I no longer could taste the sweetness or the flavor of the marshmallow. That is a lot like how we have life. Sometimes we taste things and they're sweet. And sometimes we become numb to the things in the world, especially to others. The Bible says in Matthew 22, Jesus was asked, what is the most important commandment? And Jesus' answer in verse 29 was, the most important one says, people of Israel, you have only one Lord and God. You must love him with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. The second most important commandment says, love others as much as you love yourself. No other commandment is more important than these. Now Jesus was telling us the two most important commandments are loving him and then loving others as we love ourselves. How do we do that? Especially today when things are changing and we have to be really focused not only on our own safety, but the safety of others. You may be familiar with this because what is different today that we do? We wear masks when we go out into the market. And no, that's not going to become our new normal. That is something we do now because we are being mindful or purposely thinking about ourselves and we're purposely thinking about the safety and the protection of others. In Philippians 2, it says, don't be jealous or proud, but be humble and consider others more important than yourselves. Care about them as much as you care about yourselves and think the same way that Christ Jesus thought of you, that Christ Jesus thought. And then in 1 Peter 3 and 8, it says, finally, all of you should agree and have concern and love for each other. You should also be kind and humble. Don't be hateful and insult people just because they are hateful and insult you. Instead, treat everyone with kindness. You are God's chosen ones and he will bless you. The scripture says very clearly that we are to love others as we love ourselves. It says that we should not be jealous of others, which means that we should not be angry over the things that God has blessed them with, but we should be grateful and we should be kind and treat everyone as we would treat ourselves. An example of that is when your mom may be folding the laundry and it's kind of busy, or maybe she's cleaning the dishes or the kitchen. One of the greatest things that your mom would love to hear from you is, Mom, would you like me to help you? Because it says to her, you're thinking about her and the time that she's putting into cleaning the dishes or folding the laundry. 
When my daughter comes to me, and we're supposed to read our book at night, but she sees that I'm very busy at work because sometimes my work goes into the night, she'll come up to me and say, Mom, we can read the book tomorrow because I see that you're very busy. That to me makes me a very proud mom because it tells me that she's thinking beyond herself and she's thinking of others. Today when things look different in our world, one of the main things that God is trying to show us is that we must be compassionate, meaning that we must feel for other people as we want them to feel for ourselves. We must love our neighbor as much as we would love ourselves. That means if you wanted someone to be kind to you, let's say you go to the store and you drop something and they pick it up for you, you would be very thankful for that. So if you see someone in the store dropping something, pick it up for them, especially if they can't easily get down and get it. Or maybe someone shares with you a kind word for you for that day. Sometimes we say things like happy birthday when it's your birthday and you're very happy about that because they thought about you. Do the same to others if it's their birthday. Say happy birthday to them. Just make them feel extra special. Maybe someone's crying and they just need a hug. And right now we give air hugs and that's fine. So maybe you give them an air hug and you let them know I'm thinking about you and praying for you. Those are the things that we would want them to do for us. So as we continue on through the days and though they are looking different and they are going to look different and they are going to change over time, one of the things that cannot change is how we treat others because God has said the two most important commandments is loving him and loving others. And so for him to smile down on us, we must first and foremost love God and second, we need to love others as we want them to love us. So pray with me today. Lord Jesus, we thank you for an opportunity to be able to love others. And though things look a little different, God, and we know that things are changing, you have said we are at all times to love you first and foremost and to love others as ourselves. Lord, we ask for the strength each and every day to be able to look and see how we can help someone else and to be able to Lord Jesus be your mouth of encouragement your hands of help Lord Jesus in your precious name amen thank you kids and have a blessed day